Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you for tuning into this broadcast today. I want to wish all of our mothers a happy Mother's Day, and this message today is about mothers. And it says in Proverbs 31 and 28 that her children rise up and call her blessed, and even even her husband rise up and calls her blessed. The 31st chapter of Proverbs is a wonderful chapter. It says at the beginning part of that, who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. And I think it's a wonderful thing for about mothers today, and I appreciate all of our mothers. And the mystery of life is tied up in the miracle of motherhood. All of our lives, we are in some way touched by our mothers. Let's examine what the Bible has to say about the various stages of our life. Let us pray for our mothers, for God to help them in shaping our lives. Motherhood, first of all, begins with love. In Bible days, women were regarded as just property. It seems to be a man's world. Uh, it, telling a man that he was to provide for a woman's material needs was expected. But to talk in terms of loving her was unexpected. Paul said in Colossians 3 and 19, for husbands to love your wives. He was talking about the husband acting in the wife's best interest, and that should always be all of our best interests, and we should love one another. The same was expected of the wife, so love was a giving relationship. Mutual respect, mutual admonition, open communication and joy in one another's presence. That is where motherhood really begins. Motherhood should become a possibility when a child is truly wanted. Every child has his right. Even an unplanned child uh, has his rights. Much of our child abuse comes from unwanted children. When children makes demands upon the parents who don't want them, the stage is set for bigger problems down the road. These children grow up never feeling good about themselves. Back in the early days, everyone wanted a son. A daughter meant extra support until they married. All the children are precious in the eyes of the Lord. A woman's worth should never be judged by her ability to bring forth children in the world because motherhood is more than just a physical occurrence. Children should be provided for materially, emotionally, and spiritually. That's last but not least. The bond between mother and child is established during pregnancy and from conception on it begins. And that's why I'm pro-life because I believe in all my heart that it, life begins at uh, conception. The demands to provide love and teaching from birth is essential until they marry until they reach adulthood. Just think of all those years when we are legally and morally responsible. Satisfy, satisfying a baby's physical needs is paramount in the early years. Coming with that is love and protection and self-esteem. Then there is a challenge to lead them to the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul said to Timothy's mother and grandmother a high compliment. He said, I am reminded of your sincere faith, of faith that dwelled in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now I'm sure dwells in you, 2 Timothy 1, 2 and, 1 and 15, rather. What a compliment. Motherhood doesn't stop when children are grown. There's always new ways to relate to people and to our children. Needs, our need for a mother continues as long as we live. And God, thank you for all of you mothers out there today, and especially those mothers that love their children. There's a lot of uh, pe people today that just have children. They don't love them. But God, thank, thank all of you mothers who love your children and try to raise them for God and teach them the right principles in life. And may God richly bless you on this Mother's Day. And my prayers go with you that God will help you and give you a, an anointing in your life in Jesus' name. This is Raymond Mayfield. I'll talk to you again shortly.